I know several educators myself who said, I'm going to do one more year because I don't want to end in this situation we were in last year. Lisa Morgan is a kindergarten teacher. She's also president of the Georgia Association of Educators. One major problem she fears if Metro Atlanta were to experience a teacher shortage. We are very concerned that they will further increase the class size for our students. The consequence, Morgan says, less one-on-one -on -one attention for students. Already, some districts have approved bonuses and other incentives for the 2021-22 school year. In Cobb County, a raise for teachers was approved in June. The district's Board of Education approving that pay bump, ranging from 4 to 8.6 percent for all permanent staff members. In Gwinnett County, the school board voted in July to double the cost of living increase from $1,000 to $2,000. And on its website, Fulton County Schools is advertising both hiring and retention incentives in its special education department. Math, science, special education will continue to be the areas that there is a need for more teachers. Morgan says vacancies across the state can be attributed to unprecedented challenges amid the pandemic. There is concern about the Delta variant. That's one reason that we at GAE are advocating that our districts use some of their American Rescue Plan funding to increase the number of nurses, social workers, and school counselors. Earlier this year, Governor Kemp introduced the teacher pipeline legislation designed in part to retain educators. Part of it, House Bill 385 would have allowed for some retired teachers to return to work collecting full salaries and pensions, but it never got a vote nor even a committee hearing.